look at these wonderful connected medical devices. Because of advances in technology, healthcare delivery, patient care, and their quality of life have all benefited. But with these connected devices, there are cybersecurity risks. As practicing clinicians, we don't have to be cybersecurity experts to support our patients with their devices. Here are some ways to think about the cybersecurity in your practice. First, think about how cybersecurity intersects with the connected device's ability to function. Take an inventory of the connected devices in your practice. Think about how you and your patients interact with them, such as through their mobile devices. Think about the health, the privacy, and safety considerations around that device for the patient. If the device manufacturer has not provided cybersecurity information, your patient should contact the manufacturer and ask the following questions. How is the device updated? What does it connect to? What happens if the connection is unavailable? What are the cybersecurity risks associated with the device? What cybersecurity resources do they have to support your patients? Who should you reach out to with questions if you have a concern? If you are concerned about the cybersecurity of your patient's device, report it to the practice manager so that they can contact the device manufacturer. Find out if there are other internal resources available that can help you escalate your concerns through your IT department, practice manager, or others if applicable. Patients may have questions about the cybersecurity of their device, and if they do, don't be afraid to engage with them. Reassure your patients that there are many people working behind the scenes to keep their device safe. Here are some questions patients may ask and some potential responses. What measures can I take to keep my device safe? You can use good passwords. Keep your device in your physical control. Only connect to devices that I or the manufacturer indicate are okay. Keep your device updated. Act on or follow up on alerts, inconsistencies, and other strange behaviors of a device, and let your clinician know. If my device needs to be updated, what should I expect? Updates are good and should be expected. Follow the update directions, and remember, some updates are done remotely, while others may require you to physically come into the clinic. The FDA created a shareable video for patients that provides this information. Point them to other resources, such as the FDA's patient video on cybersecurity awareness for connected medical devices. There are many ways we can help protect the safety of our patients' connected medical devices. Doing these things will help maximize the health benefits that these connected medical devices provide to patients. For more tips and additional resources, such as what to ask the device manufacturer, visit the FDA's website or click on the link below.